laughable at this point. I have cried to her. I can't cry anymore. On July 22nd, Katie Turner and her husband closed on their very first home. Us getting a home on our own seemed almost like a miracle. But before they moved in, their miracle was underwater. The inside is completely gutted. It's down to studs. Their appliances destroyed too. Really everything. Five, six days after you close on your first ever home, a one in a thousand year flood comes and you can't get assistance from anybody to help you. So you're kind of just left feeling hopeless. Hopeless because Turner says FEMA informed them they don't qualify for assistance. They have proof of insurance, identity and ownership, but they also must show proof of occupancy and that the home was their primary residence at the time of the disaster. So they needed utility bills or something of that sort to show that we, that this was our primary residence. But of course we didn't have that because we hadn't even had a chance to move into the home yet. <laughs> and there's more. And we didn't have flood insurance because on FEMA's website, it actually, our home is not in a flood zone, so the lender didn't require us to have flood insurance. Turner has filed an appeal to FEMA's denial for help, and we've reached out to FEMA to see if anything can be done in this extraordinary circumstance. Late today, FEMA said they don't discuss specific cases and reiterated that the program helps those who have damage to their primary residence, not the news Turner wants to hear. Meanwhile, on a day when the president is in eastern Kentucky visiting flood victims, she's still hoping for a miracle. I was actually standing outside on my porch and saw the helicopters fly by, and I thought, boy, I'd like to talk to him. For now, the Turner's church is letting them stay at its parsonage until they figure out what they're going to do. All you want to do, really, all I want to do is lay in bed. I don't want to get out of bed. But I know I have to because for whatever reason, this is where we are. And so we just got to try to make good out of it somehow. In Jackson, Kentucky, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.